Hey, what's up, guys? I'm Mashik Shogabadista, and welcome back to the another brand new video. In this new video, I'm going to show you how easily you can create Pioneer account from scratch. Actually, Pioneer is a global payment solution that allows you to receive and send money online, making it an excellent option for freelancers, entrepreneurs, and businesses alike. In this video, step by step, I will guide you how to set up Pioneer account including how to provide necessary information, verify your identity, and linking your bank account. Whether you are new to the online payment or looking for a secure and reliable solution, actually Pioneer has got you covered. Now without any further delay, let's jump into the computer. Now let's see how easily we can create Pioneer account step by step. After signing up the Pioneer account, if you want to receive $50 bonus, then you need to use a special link. Now at first, to create a Pioneer account, just simply open up your browser and in browser URL, just simply type msbofficial.com slash pioneer, then hit enter. After that, you will redirect to this page. Now just simply click on sign up and earn $50. One thing I want to mention, if you sign up the Pioneer account, then immediately you don't receive $50 bonus. Actually, you will receive $50 bonus once you receive payments of $1,000 in your account. Then instantly you will get the $50 reward. Alright? Now to create a Pioneer account, just navigate to this link and then click on sign up and earn $50. Now in the very first step, we need to select our business type. This time I just simply select individual. Then we need to fill up our first name, last name, email address and others info as well. So I just put the first name and last name, email address, retype my email address and the next field we need to enter our date of birth. Alright. I just choose it and I just type the captcha and hit on next. Now in the second step, we need to select country and enter our address. Alright. Now after that, we need to enter valid mobile number. Now at this moment, they send us an OTP. I just put the OTP right here. Verification code actually. Now I hit on next and in security details we need to enter password then again we need to re-enter the password and from this drop down we need to select security question and after that in the answer box I just typed the answer alright next one is id details you may verify your id by using an id card driving license passport with this info this time i just simply select national id and now i type the anid number then again i just type the captcha and hit on next we're almost done now in the final step I just simply select bank country Bangladesh currency BDT and in search box I just simply type my local bank account name this time it is black bank if you are from different country then just choose your country currency and bank name after that enter the bank details right here account holder name must be your your original name so keep that in mind now i put the bank branch name and bank account number now i tick these two options pioneers terms and condition and i agree to the pricing and fees okay if i open up the pricing and fees then in this window i can see pioneer charges and pricing all right now i hit on submit all right so application submission done 
Now Pioneer team will review our application. Now if I open up the Gmail account, here you can see Pioneer send us two emails. If I open up the first one, here you can see it will take up to three business days maximum to review our application. And in second email, actually we need to verify our email address. I just simply click on verify my email to verify the email address. Alright, somehow I can see this link is not exist, but don't worry. This time I just simply click on sign in and put my email and password to log in in Pioneer account. Now here you can see they recommend us to turn on twist verification to add the extra security layer. Now to turn this on, I just simply click on turn on button. Now in mobile, I just get a code. Now I type the code and hit on submit to turn on the twist verification on my Pioneer account. Okay, they also give us a recovery code. You can save it on a safe place. Now at this moment, I just simply click on OK. So we just successfully logged in in our Pioneer account. Now if I click on verify my email, then look at this. We just successfully verified our email address. Excellent. Now in the dashboard, here you can see a update now button. I just click on the update now button to update our account's security settings. In this drop down here you can see some security question we can set and we can put our own answer in the answer box. Okay. So just select your preferred question and put your answer right here. And after that, just simply click on change. Actually, you need to remember these security questions and answers because if something wrong will happen in future in your Pioneer account, then support team may ask these questions. Okay, now I hit on change and I need to enter an OTP. All right, we just successfully updated the security settings. Now I hit on let's go. Awesome. Now here you can see Pioneer sent us an email. Our application is approved. That means we are done. We just successfully created our Pioneer account. Now to fully verify this account, I just simply click on the profile and click on settings. Then I click on verification center. Here you can see two things are required. That means we need to verify these two things. At first, I just expand the provide business details. And here you can see we need to fill a few informations. What do you mainly use your Pioneer account? This time I tick the first option to receive funds from marketplace and tick the second option as well to receive payments from customer. Now from this drop down, I just simply select sales and marketing. This is my category that we will work with. And what service do you provide? This time I select digital content services. Now at this point, we need to describe about our business. Okay. So just put one or two lines and after that enter your website or e store or Facebook page link. Okay, so put these two information, then next one. What is your connection to the web page or URL provided? This time I tick the, select the first one. I manage my page within the website slash hosted platform. And finally, I put the amount, monthly payment volume. All right, now I hit on submit. Then again, I just simply click on profile settings and click on verification center. Now I expand the account verification and click on submit. This time I am from Bangladesh. That's why I choose the country Bangladesh and select e smart national ID card. Now 
I just simply drag and drop the NAD font and back part. Now I hit on submit. And yes, we just successfully submitted our NAD card to verify our identity. Now if I click on view additional required action under history here you can see we just successfully submitted the national identity card and status under review. Of course they will review it and approve it if you upload the valid ID card. So we are almost done. Now I want to give you a quick overview about the Pioneer dashboard. Now if I navigate to the banks and card under banks here you can see easily we can add multiple bank accounts to withdraw our money from pioneer to the bank just simply click on add bank account and then enter your bank information to connect your bank account with your existing pioneer account now if i navigate to the withdraw and transfer here you can see there is a withdraw option just simply select your bank account select your card and then enter the amount that you want to withdraw. Our balance is currently zero, that's why I am unable to enter any withdraw amount. So once you receive the payment, easily you can withdraw money to your bank. Super easy. Now again, I just simply navigate to the banks and card. If I click on receiving accounts, I just simply click on it. Then see, Pioneer provided us two virtual bank accounts if i click on usa version then here you can see our virtual bank info that means using by entering this information on different marketplaces easily we can receive money using this usa bank information now if i navigate to the pay tab then here you can see bunch of different options using these options actually easily we can send money to other pioneer users under account activity we can see our transactions payment request sent and other stuff as well at this moment if you are interested to use pioneer mastercard then click on the pioneer cards this option under the banks and cards now here you can see actually there is a requirement you will be able to order a pioneer card once you received a payment of at least 100 usd or equivalent at the very beginning you can't request for a pioneer mastercard hope this makes sense i recommend you after signing up the pioneer account just simply navigate these options to understand the pioneer features better Alright, so that's it for this video. If you really like this one, then hit the like button, subscribe this channel to watch more upcoming videos. Alright, so till then, take care. Bye-bye.